The massive open world game called Power World just dropped and there's a bunch of glitches already in the game. Today, I'm actually going to share with you guys a glitch in the game that is still active that you guys can use to capture all five of the main bosses. So right off the bat, I do want to show you that all these bosses are able to be caught. I've caught Zoe, Lily, Axel, Marcus, and Victor. All five of these bosses all each have a very unique set of abilities. However, the way to catch them is very similar for all five. Now, I'm going to show you how to get Zoe and Griswold because it's the first boss that you're ever going to encounter in the game. There's a few key things that you need to know very early. First of all, with your pal box, you are able to fast travel wherever you would like. And when you're at any of the fast travel areas, you can fast travel to other fast travel areas. Now, there's a big thing that you're going to need to do. So a few key things that you need to start off with Zoe and Griswold is you need the Rain Syndicate Tower entrance over here. It's very obvious where it will be. You'll see these giant towers that glow blue right in the middle. There's a fast travel right down the hill. It's not too far. And then you'll also need to get the small settlement. You'll be coming here for every single one of these bosses and every single attempt that you will make. The reason why you need the small settlement is because you need to get a want to level. And this is one of the best places to get a want to level for this glitch. Now, the key thing that I'm going to show you here over at the small settlement is you need to attack this opening guard right as you enter in. It doesn't happen like right away. You can walk right next to him. He's not going to attack you. He will only attack you if you attack him. Now, the reason why you need to attack him is because he has an assault rifle. This is super key. Now, what I like to do is hop on top of this hut, hop on this hut right here, attack him. Now, just keep in mind, every PIDF officer that you attack individually will give another want to level. So if you want one, you attack one. If you want two, you attack two. If you want three, you attack three. It's super crucial because for some of the bosses, you'll need a higher want to level to get more officers to help <laughs> with this glitch. I'll tell you why in a bit. However, I only need really one to two for Zoe and Grisbolt. The higher assault slash want level you have, it might be a little harder to manage right away. Luckily, I've done this a handful of times. I like to use a bow with this because I can actually attack him at range. Now, I have a want to level of two. Just make sure not to die. If you die, it's completely fine. It happens. Now, I'm going to go around here just to try and avoid some of them because they're all right around the tower here. Now, the key thing is you're going to head back here, fast travel over to the tower here very quickly. They won't attack you when you're in the lobby. You need to run immediately up this hill. Some of the officers might be right in front of you. That is A-OK. -okay. They don't do too much damage with the pistols. The assault rifles do more. You're going to run over to the tower. Now, the key thing you need to do here is one of two things. You need to join in as fast as you can. Now, once you join in, you need to skip the cutscene. You need to do no damage to the boss. Now, doing no damage to the boss is key for every single one of these challenges. Every single one. You need to not do no damage. So you're just going to run around. The goal right now is to get Grisbolt or any of the bosses in between you and the guards. The reason is the guards will attack Grisbolt and any of the bosses. They will run over to a corner here and stand still. They won't do anything. You grab any pal spear, throw it right on their back, and immediately you caught them. Just like that. That was my fifth one captured. Capture it was a success, which is fantastic. A ton of XP for me and as well as all those in your party. Now you're wondering, how the heck am I supposed to get out of here? Easy. You don't even have to die to the guards. You can escape and respawn. It's super easy. I didn't even know this was a thing until people in my TikTok live told me and showed me. And if you've never been inside of a dungeon or any of these bosses that you've ever attacked, your items will not still be in the dungeon. They will actually spawn right outside of the dungeon, which is great. And just to let you guys know that we caught it, this one we've already had, this one we already have, but this one is new. This is the new one that we just got. Um, Zoe and Grisbolt, this is my fifth one, just to count it up. That's one, two, three, four, and five in my party. So I've caught in five Zoe and Grisbolts. And again, you could do this for any one of these bosses. Now I'm going to guide you through on how to do this for every single one. The items you need and everything to be prepared for when you attack them. Now the one thing with all the bosses that is super nice about this glitch is you can use the exact same method for every single one. Now you can actually see all the towers. There's tower one. There's tower two right off in the distance. There's tower three on top of the volcano. Tower 4 is in the distance, way off to the northeast. And Tower 5 is right a little left of north where generally the starting island is. 
Now for this, I highly recommend you actually get a pet such as a Nighthawk or a Gale Claw and get a saddle for them if you are high enough level to get them. It'll be a little bit of time, but it will save you a lot in your travel efforts because honestly, I didn't think that these were super far, but they were a lot farther than I thought. So I'm going to tell you what want to level you need, some of the equipment you might need that will help you, at least with your efforts. It makes things a lot easier, especially when you do die, especially when you are low health and trying to get back to your items. But most importantly, this glitch works the exact same. There is, however, sometimes a glitch within the glitch where it says you can't throw spheres under level 25. If that happens, it's completely fine. Just respawn, gather your items, and then just restart. I promise when that does happen, it's a little annoying because you're like, I could do it, and then you can't. Now, for Lily, she actually spawns over here at the Free Pow Alliance Tower. Now, Lily is super awesome because she's actually on the ground, super easy to beat. She's almost easier to beat than actually Zoe and Grisbolt, in my opinion. Um, I would highly recommend a 1-2 to two Want to level down at the small settlement, teleport, and do the exact same thing. She's on the ground. She doesn't do too much. It also doesn't hurt to actually grab some Tundra outfit because it'll keep you warm in the cold temperatures when you grab your items as well as you're exploring this area for the first time. I highly recommend it no matter what. Axel actually spawns all the way over onto the left side. He's the farthest one left of the map. He's actually really difficult to get initially, mostly because of the fast travel itself. The boss is actually super easy. I highly recommend coming in with a wanted level of 2 to 3 three simply because it's a little easier when you have a higher once level for how hard the boss is because he can do a lot of damage pretty quickly if he does get a hold of you just to save the time it's like i'd rather get hit more by the officers than by the boss however you will need something pretty interesting with this one you will need a heat resistance pelt armor these can be kind of hard to get i think there is a fire or heat resistance this one is actually just made of pelt actually helps me this one just has a heat level of two but you will need something similar to the tundra outfit because the volcano of course is hot okay now for marcus marcus is actually pretty interesting because marcus actually spawns all the way on to the right in this tower over here the tower of the p idf now again go to the small settlement gather a wanted level of three you're gonna need a wanted level of three because marcus does a lot of damage very quickly so the faster those bullets can come out of the assault rifles gun the quicker you can at least do this glitch. It took me about 8 to 10 times, but I also didn't know what I was doing. The hardest part about this is it's just a long stretch from the Sand Dude's entrance where you will need a heat pellet, um, a heat resistance outfit of some sort, because it does get hot in the desert, of course. Unless it's at nighttime, which actually is when I went to go get this, which I was completely fine with because I went when it was cold. The interesting thing about this is you will also need a flying mount. I primarily use the Nighthawk just like this. The Nighthawk is great because I can actually fly and get to the level where the boss is in between me and the assault rifle and any of the officers down on the floor. This is the easiest way that I have found, even though it's a little bit more work. Now, the Nighthawk's actually not level 30. They normally spawn in this beginning area right here by the first fast travel that you get at the Grassy Behemoth Hills. The reason why it's so important is, again, you, you being able to fly. You will need a saddle, which isn't too bad to actually collect. It's super easy on the technology here. It is only level 15, and, and level 15 isn't too bad by the time you get those first two bosses. However, you can actually do it when he does his AoE attack on the ground, but timing up the bullets is kind of hard. Now, for the final boss, Victor. He is one of the easiest ones, even though it took me a few tries because he does so much damage at a lower level. He will kill you instantly no matter what. He does this fire attack that goes right through any single pillar in the dungeon, but he's super easy to calculate, and here's why. Again, you want to go to the settlement and actually grab a level 3 wanted level. You're going to go up to the PAL Genetic Research Unit, up here, you will need a cold resistance or a tundra outfit simply because it is cold up here. And again, most of these you probably, it wouldn't actually hurt to get a night wing, um, something that flies because it's just a lot easier to travel. These things are really far and I highly recommend getting it anyways. Initially, with a level three, the officers, most of them will spawn right behind the boss. This is key for this one because normally he'll start up his attack with a ice shield. He'll lock you in ice. Super easy to avoid because you'll see it coming. It's a giant red cylinder. On top of that, after that, he will throw out a giant fire flame laser. Pretty much, it's like a laser. It goes right through this tower, right through the pillar. It's pretty insane, and it will kill you instantly. I've died to it multiple, feels like a hundred times. However, with Victor, the main thing that you really want to do with him is actually just wait him out. Because his attacks, you can dodge very easily. Once the assault rifles from behind hit him, he'll go to the corner. 
And of course, you just throw a nice little pal sphere right on his back, just like that, and you'll capture him. And it was actually a lot easier once I realized that that was the case. So yeah, that is how you capture all five of the Power World bosses. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and peace, peace. <laughs>